Badger Loop is a student organization at the University of Wisconsin-Madison that competes in the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod competition, where university teams from around the world build prototype vehicles to test at SpaceX headquarters. Hyperloop is a futuristic form of transportation first proposed by Elon Musk in 2013, which involves putting a passenger-carrying vehicle, or pod, in a vacuum tube. Due to the minimal air resistance in the system, traveling by Hyperloop would be both incredibly fast and sustainable, with top speeds potentially exceeding 600 miles per hour. This would allow commuter travel between Minneapolis and Chicago in under 90 minutes. Joining Badgerloop is a unique, hands-on learning experience that offers students a chance to apply what they learn in class to a real-life problem. Anyone can join, regardless of major, and the organization is split into three main teams, each of which focuses on different aspects of the project. The electrical team is responsible for designing and integrating the pod's onboard hardware, high-voltage battery pack, powertrain, embedded firmware, and external dashboard. Electrical subteams include battery, controls, electrical reliability, low voltage, powertrain, and software. The mechanical team has the responsibility of designing and manufacturing a structurally sound, functional, and optimized pod to the best of their abilities. Mechanical subteams include analysis, braking, mechanical reliability, propulsion, stability, and structural. The operations team helps run our organization in a manner similar to that of a small startup. Badgerloop's past success has built us a reputable brand which is recognized by both industry veterans and high-speed transportation enthusiasts. Operations members represent a wide number of majors from the university, including business, communications, finance, education, and many, many more. Operations subteams include communications, feasibility, finance and supply chain, industry relations, outreach and recruiting, virtual reality, and website. Hyperloop systems consist of two main components that each present their own unique challenges. The first, and perhaps most technologically complex, being the vehicle, or pod, comprising a structure, propulsion system, braking system, and electrical and control systems. These key subsystems each provide different but necessary functions to the Hyperloop pod. The structural system, for example, provides a hard, aerodynamic shell for passengers and pod components to travel in safely. A pod structure could hypothetically take any form, but perhaps the most popular now is a bullet-shaped pod with a shell made from carbon fiber, a sturdy but also weight-efficient material. Additionally, due to the near-vacuum environment inside the Hyperloop tube, the interior of the vehicle must be pressurized to support passenger transport. The propulsion system of a Hyperloop pod is responsible for accelerating the pod through the tube. There are multiple propulsion methods that can achieve this, from high-powered electric motors to cold gas thrusters, or even experimental systems like Hullbach arrays. In general, any of these methods could work, but ultimately it is essential that the propulsion system be fast, energy efficient, and safe. To that end, possibly the most feasible method would be magnetic levitation, similar to that of the superconducting maglev trains operated by the Central Japan Railway Company. In tandem with the propulsion system, all Hyperloop pods must be able to brake efficiently without damaging the pod and its components or causing discomfort for the passengers. This is particularly challenging for a number of reasons, chief among them the high velocity at which Hyperloop pods travel through the tube. At present, most Hyperloop prototypes rely on the friction of the brake pads against the metal I-beam along which the pod travels to slowly decelerate the pod. However, there is also potential for implementing advanced systems such as magnetic or regenerative braking. Next is the electrical system, which in many ways is the heart of the pod. The electrical system brings the pod to life and facilitates a safe transition through the vehicle's state machine, which is a predetermined sequence of actions through which the vehicle progresses during operation. The electrical system also provides power from the onboard batteries to the rest of the pod systems and is capable of converting energy from a direct current, or DC, power source to an alternating current, or AC, power, which is usable by the propulsion system. Additionally, the electrical system allows the pod to function autonomously. Finally, the control system ties all the pod's other systems together, making sure that users can communicate with the pod and understand how each system is operating at any given moment. This includes creating a dashboard from which the vehicle can be commanded remotely, and where all of the data transmitted from sensors placed throughout each of the pod's subsystems is displayed. The second major component of a Hyperloop system is the tube, which first and foremost must be large enough to comfortably fit the pod. While this may seem trivial at first, it is one of the greatest hurdles to creating a fully functional Hyperloop system. 
The main reason being that the tube must be sealed to maintain a near vacuum environment for extended durations in order to eliminate air resistance, which allows the Hyperloop's proposed operational speeds in excess of 700 miles per hour. To safely maintain such an environment, it is likely that the Hyperloop tube would need to run underground to reduce the likelihood of rapid depressurization in the event that the tube is punctured. We are incredibly excited to tackle these challenges, and we believe our talented team is more than capable of doing so. Please follow us on social media and visit our website to check out our prospective members page for more information about the team and our current plans. 